Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Rory Reed from RoryReadArt.com, back again with another painting video. Over the last couple weeks, I've fallen into this sort of still life area that I'm in right now. So, basically, practicing a number of still lifes just to hone in on a particular style that I'm going to use for some upcoming paintings that I'm going to be doing in a series that I began a few years back concept being um, a bouquet of flowers or a still life of flowers with one of the flowers or multiple of the flowers being in an actual torso of or lower half of a dancer sticking mostly with a ballerina because I find those to be most um, expressive though I'm you know open to expanding on that idea in the future so I'm starting off here now using a little bit of a alizarin crimson wash to sketch out general figures and shapes of how I want the bouquet to look and also with this style that I was working on I'm gonna just leave the flowers themselves mostly suggestive or in an you know loose style um, wanted the actual figures to or, I want, or I'm sorry I wanted the actual vase to be the most detailed portion of the painting and I'm going to use mostly value and color to suggest the flowers themselves and as I said this was just a test run I wanted to emphasize the beauty of uh, the, the still life itself the vase and the flowers and just working on the color scheme that kind of thing some future paintings that I'm gonna put on the channel are some of the actual pieces from the series but this was sort of like a in-depth research or a test run even though this painting stands on its own as a great work of art and that's kind of how I work man I you know you gotta test stuff out especially when you don't know I'm not generally a still life painter but that's kind of what um, the magic of painting is you know doing things that you don't normally do increases your skill for one gets you out of um, painting ruts and prevents you know burning at burning out on painting the same thing over and over and over again so I'll jump from portraits to landscapes now I'm on still lives here and there and you bounce back and forth and that's kind of what keeps painting fresh for me personally you know you gain you gain a sort of level up in each facet or each area and overall as time goes by you become a much more well-rounded artist you learn tips and tricks that can cross over into each style or each area and um, you know that's just how I do it as a self-taught artist myself so now the colors that I'm using for this painting are gonna be brilliant red cad yellow medium some dioxazine purple phthalo blue hookers green titanium white and a little bit of Naples yellow to lighten up some of the oranges and reds that I'm gonna be using using the purples of course to darken down the blues sometimes even using the phthalo blue to um, darken down some of the lighter blues in the painting so on the vase itself in the shadow area there I used the raw phthalo blue 
with a slight touch of the dioxazine purple then fading into the mid-tone areas that's just the thalo white with a touch of green so it gives like a turquoise green kind of look and then I dropped a little sliver of orange there just to test out the you know how it would work together so it's just a complementary um, color orange and blue and I liked how it looked you know I usually work with these colors so I just dropped that sliver in on the left side of the vase there just as a placeholder to test how again I want how it would um, work together in this particular scenario so now I started dropping in some oranges in the flower area as well as you can see some of the blues that was already on my brush I just put some loose shapes of flowers in as well and now the goal right here is just to cover up the white parts of the canvas that are still left to emphasize again I was gonna leave I wanted I wanted these flowers just to be bursts of color in certain shapes to give a suggestive look not necessarily gonna spend time detailing any flowers I just wanted them to be bursts of color like sort of like an abstract element I find a lot of paintings are more interesting that way when you have areas that are fleshed out and detailed and you contrast those with areas that are more loose and expressive it gives more variety as I've said before in, in, in other paintings and other videos I've done on the channel just added in some extra branches slash foliage now and you can see the uh, composition is taking shape a lot of the space in the canvas is covered and then there's some nice areas of empty space as well that work well with what I have on the canvas so far darken down this hooker's green now with a touch of uh, black just a single dot of black and some of the phthalo blue so this is giving a, like a more dark green blue ish color if that makes sense and I'm just using that to block in some of the shadow areas of the bouquet itself and as you can see from what I have so far they don't really look like flowers per se only the shape of them do and that's sort of what, what, what I was going for as I said I wanted to them, them not to be abstract or too detailed as to take away focus from the vase itself and it also works because it cuts down on painting time having to detail every single flower and for me personally you know having everything detailed just leaves everything sort of flat you know when you have so many fleshed out focal points there was a time in my life when I would appreciate a painting like that the space I'm in currently in terms of my appreciation for paintings is I like seeing different elements from different styles of painting sort of coming together in one exceptional piece so as you can see some of the loose brushwork and the happy little accidents as Bob Ross calls them some of those add a ton of um, personality to the piece and you can already see some of that playing out in the reds and oranges there even in some of the blues and greens also
And so you can see that you know the the composition as I said is is great the color uh, palette is on point the oranges slash reds work well together with the thalo blues and the greens and so now I wanted to leave the background a little bit lighter than per se uh, the foreground so just added a touch of or just lowered the value a bit on the left side there just to indicate that the light source is coming from the right hand side spending some time now on the vase itself adding in some of that turquoise blue color more in the mid-tone areas just to define the vase out a little bit more. And I have a couple um, titanium white highlights on the right hand side there. Very loose brushwork on top of the semi detailed um, blending on the vase works well together. Just defining things out a bit more now on these vines slash branches. Adding, adding a few more here and there just to fill out the composition of the bouquet a little bit going over the green leaves with a second layer using a fan brush now to drop in a little bit of a pattern on the vase I use the same uh, orange mixture the orange color to give it that punch so on the vase itself I have the white on the right side the turquoise green the phthalo blue and the phthalo blue with purple in the deep shadow areas and on top of that use the fan brush to drop in a little pattern on the vase to make it look super cool and added a little highlight speck there as well in that orange area on the vase gives it a nice standout look and so we're getting towards the end here this is sort of where I left the painting everything was pretty much set just a few minor details here and there left to accomplish covering up that last white spot that we had there and as you can see it's just the suggestion the sort of loose brushwork a little bit of confusion in there you could say gives a nice element of the painting for you to look at and a person who likes abstract pieces can appreciate the bouquet itself person who likes uh, more detailed paintings can appreciate the vase itself and you know they can travel through the piece and feel different emotions when looking at it based on their own personal likes few more loose brush strokes now checking all my values to make sure they are accurate and in a few more leaves here and there a few more little blue flowers here and there and just filling things out according to my own personal taste of what I find appealing just lightening up the midtone area there a little bit on the vase now and we're definitely heading towards the end Add in a touch of contrast now as well just wanted a, a bit more punch between the lights and the darks blending things out once again and that mist you're seeing is of course the spray bottle that I use when working with acrylic paint you know that does help a little bit in terms of blending 
just doing some brush work on the foreground now as well clean that up slightly and that's it here is the finished piece it's titled springs embrace by rory reed art me store link down below if you're interested in this piece link in the description also check out my teespring guys i'm at teespring.com slash stores slash rory reed art got some logo tees and other goodies over there you guys might be interested in so check that out also like this channel and subscribe to the channel guys it really helps the video out follow me on instagram at tripler 999 full length videos are on twitch at tripler 999 i'm also on tiktok under the same name as well hope you guys have a great day thanks for watching guys take it easy peace